All right, so completing the square. Um, what we're going to be doing for completing the square is, if you guys remember, we're trying to go from standard form to vertex form. Why do I keep on doing this? OK, we're trying to go from standard form to vertex form. And what's very important about having vertex form is our h is within what we call a binomial squared, right? That is a binomial squared. And then k is on the outside. So for us to be able to determine um, our h, it has to be, or in this case, we could actually be doing our k as well, depending on what type of conic uh, parabola we're using. But it has to be within a binomial squared. So then it comes into, where do binomial squares come from? Well, the way we get binomial squares is from perfect square trinomials. So let me give you a couple examples of a perfect square trinomial. y equals x squared plus 4x plus 4. That is a perfect square trinomial. If you were to factor that into x plus 2 times x plus 2, which is x plus 2 squared. Do you guys see how that? Perfect square trinomial, binomial squared. Another example, y equals x squared plus 6x plus 9. That factors down into x plus 3 squared. So what I want you guys to understand is if we can create a perfect square trinomial, if we can create one of these perfect square trinomials, we can factor it to a binomial squared, right? And that's exactly what we want, is a binomial squared. So we look at this. Is this a, binomial, is this a perfect square trinomial? No. So we need to create one, all right? And that is what completing the square is, creating a perfect square trinomial that we can um, factor. So how to create that, first step, make sure your coefficient is 1. That's good for us. The next step, let's create the binomial squared, or the trinomial, perfect square trinomial. To do that, I take b divided by 2, and I square it. In this case, my b is 16 divided by 2, square it. So therefore, I have y equals x squared plus 16x. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 squared is 64. Does, is this a binomial squared? Can I factor that out to a perfect square trinomial? Or, or sorry, is this a perfect square trinomial? Can I factor that out to a binomial squared? Yes, I can be factored to x plus 8 squared, right? x plus 8 times x plus 8. So what I'm going to do, since that's now my perfect square trinomial, I'm going to group it together. But since I have an equation and I added a 64 to one side, I have to make sure I subtract 64 to the same side. Otherwise, your equation is not going to be equal, right? It's going to tilt on one side. So if you add and subtract on the same side, that's OK. And then we still have this subtract 3 over here, which is right over there. So now I rewrite this as a binomial squared. And this becomes negative 67. Is this now in my vertex form? Yeah. Does it now make, is it very easy for me to find the vertex? Is it much harder to find the vertex in this equation? Yeah, but now if by completing the square, it's in vertex form, it's easy to complete the equation, right? And I could also write this as a conic section and then find the p value, which would be a little different. But that's where we're at with that.